Hey, we're back. And we're back. Well, we're short. Yeah, we're short somebody. We're waiting uh, on him. A little guy named Cy. Uh, but he's just at the doctor. It's a checkup or something. But we're all on pretty tight schedules with the holiday season and everything. So we're going to go ahead and get started. And we figured it, the man loves to make an entrance anyway. So we're just going to oh, yeah. have the door open and see what he does when he walks in. Oh, it'll I, be a grand entrance. Yeah, I, he may do a cartwheel coming in. I don't know. But <laughs> depends on what kind of report he got at the doctor. Well, but you, well you know, the man's tired. He is tired. He's been working all. I've seen him every day this week. He works hard for the at people. this office because mm-hmm. they're filming the it, Treasure Show. Yeah, size new show. Yeah, size show, not Jace's show, <laughs> not Jep's show. <laughs> if anything, it's the Sai and Murray show. Thanks yeah. for coming on last week, though. Jeff. They're they're value added content, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> I can say that because Jace came in here yesterday and I said. Man, that's cool, man. I said, you, you still know where this place is. That's awesome. I said, I figure you you just done that was a distant memory for you, buddy. And he <laughs> he just looked at me. I was like, huh? I, I ain't seen you in like four months. Last time I saw you, I gave you three bags of dog food. So I just how you been? Of course I had my kids up here too. So he didn't he, even know you had kids, probably. No, he did. He texted well, did he? me like three days after they were born. He was oh, a little okay. slow on the get up, but he did text me after they. <laughs> I waited the day for you yeah. to recover. Yeah, but oh, uh, I'm sorry for Brittany to recover. Yeah, I didn't do nothing. Yeah. I mean, I had to recover yeah. mentally from what I witnessed, but <laughs> yeah. other than that, I was fine. But no, yeah. So I had the boys up here. What was so funny is I had them in my office, and I was holding Waylon, and Jep come in there and sat down. But, you know, Jeff is completely oblivious to most anything. So we're sitting there talking. I'm holding Waylon. <laughs> well, then all of a sudden, Jackson starts crying right beside him. Jeff had no idea there was a baby in the car seat right behind him. He jumped. Mm. And Did he, he was know like, you had he, two, though? Well, he said, well, there's another one in here. I said, yeah, that's kind of how twins work, man. There's there's two of them. Like, <laughs> But he's like, oh, Okay. And then he got up and walked out. They started making noise. He was like, no, nah, I'm out. He said, I don't even remember my kids at that stage. I said, well, yeah, I can I can see that. You were probably running on a little sleep or maybe – I mean, I know you don't remember River because you had him and we went duck hunting the next day. So, like, you drove home from Kansas in the middle of the night. I remember we were at Barrett Saturdays, and you drove home in the middle of the night. Phil made fun of you all the next day saying you done seen three of them. Why well, you got to see a fourth one? And an aggressive take, yeah, well, <laughs> a, a truly feel take. Oh, to yeah. be fair. And then, like, we got back two days later, and duck season opened here, and we were back duck hunting again. So, you know, it just the grind. Mm-hmm. grind. Are you still on the grind? I do not though? participate in the grind anymore. <laughs> I, I show up when I'm needed. If Phil needs me, I'll be there every time. If Cy needs me, I will be there every time. But I will not grind. <laughs> Every day anymore. Anymore. I got to admit, like, this hunting the first split of when the weather's right is way better than what I used to do. Because mm. I just go when the weather's good. That way we can get video, get footage, whatever we got to get for the, the company. And then the rest of the time I sleep in, help Brittany take care of the boys early in the morning. I come up here and work. I bet you so, feel a lot better. Oh, man. I had to hunt like four days in a row, though, for sponsor stuff. So Real Tree was here two days. Had a couple of guys that bought a deal with Benelli come in for two days. And after them four days, that's the first time I hunted four straight days. I was wore out. <laughs> and generally, the first split, 16 days, I'm 16 for 16. And I generally throw that Friday in, too, because we're messing with decoys. And, like, it's a it's a full day of hunting, even though you ain't shooting nothing. And But mm. now I think I hunted seven times out of the first 16 days. And I, I feel refreshed. Oh, like, I I, I'm good. And like, were they all seven good hunts? No, no, they were not. Um, six of them were. There you had, go. had one hard gar, one one bat, but that was on one of the days I was forced to hunt. I would have never hunted that day had I not been forced to hunt was with sponsor it, obligations. Was it just a gar or was it a triple G? It was, yeah, it was gar grunnel goo. Yeah, I think we killed like seven snow geese and two teal or something like mm. that. Yeah, it was, it was, it was bad. Seven it's, snow geese. Yeah. Yeah, and half of them had the bird flu, and, I mean, it was a mercy killing. So, like, <laughs> you know, <laughs> that bird flu rough, man. That that stuff, I feel so bad for them for them birds. It, it's terrible. Like, they just walking around out there like the people of Bourbon Street on New Year's Day, like, and you just, you know, you, you end it. For well, you got to like, be worried about getting shot there, too. Yeah, well, that's true. <laughs> yeah, I didn't even think of it like that. <laughs> But they are. They can't. That was a rude joke. They can barely like pick their head up, and they uh, so you just 
I mean, I, I wanted to like, you know, just pop their neck real quick, but then I'm like, but then I'm touching that and hey, I don't, I'm not, you don't want the bird flu. I don't, I don't want to be the cause that causes that to cross over to humans. So, you know what? <clears throat> Heavy shot, very cheap overall. So bop moving on. Well, boom. Yeah. But the, yeah, that bird flu is real, man. It's, 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 it's real. Stone, how many days have you been hunting? Duck hunting? Mm -hmm. Three. Three? Four. Maybe up four, four times. Four. Because I got a crew now. I've assembled a, a crew of young bloods. <laughs> and I say a crew, two of them, <laughs> to, to help with the, uh, <clears throat> the, the working part of the duck hunt. Same. As far as putting out the decoys and hiding the rigs and, you know, anything physical that needs to be done. <laughs> I've, I've assembled a pretty good crew. So that gives me some days off. So it's been real nice. You know, the greatest thing I think I learned from Phil about duck hunting and building your crew and all that, Phil taught me who not to add to your crew. Because Jay said it best. Like, Phil, you just down here running with a bunch of misfits and degenerates. Like, <laughs> and, and if you look who surrounds Phil for the most part, that's... <laughs> Miss Somewhat it. accurate. Uh, yeah. So, I mean, like Stone's crew, he's got a higher class of crew running with him. Oh, yeah. Same here. Who like, is your crew? Uh, my crew got way more than I got. And they're multifaceted. And they and they got skills. Yeah. They, they got, got skills, skills that we ain't got. That's right. I know because one of them built my house. or yeah. the, and He remodeled your house. What, you got Cody down there? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got Cody and I got the nurse man. Yeah, Cody can make things happen, and they're both of them in their mid thirties, flat bellies. And no, nurse man ain't. A no, he's a little belly. soft, but but he he works. But he's hard. strong as a bull. Yeah, he an ox. Yeah. Oh yeah, he's a uh, Cody work hard. Nurse man is also a doubles as a carpenter, so he's a blind builder. Oh, he's a and shade tree carpenter and, too. And, that's right, and Cody is a very good carpenter. Cody turned my closet into a shower. See, nurse man it was once, an impressive feat. <laughs> <laughs> nurse man once snuck me in the back door up there at Bernie's General. Yeah. And got me well. Yeah. Quick. That's from a Dakota. solid crew. That's what I'm talking oh, about. Oh, yeah. And with our with our with our crew, we need we are in need of a nurse. Right? Yeah, you you really are. You gotta have a medic with you at all times. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's, so, but is where's Phil at now? Is he is Oh he, Phil's back at the house. Is he's he back? uh is he he's sore. But he's feeling a lot better. Okay. If, yeah. if y'all didn't know, he had a, um, he broke his back lifting up on a boat, trying to launch a boat in shallow water. And uh, just to be clear, he's seventy six. Seventy six years old. All he had to do was drive like another half mile, and he could have dumped in a ditch and got right back to where he was. Nah, who, who's a man? Uh, oh, a, we can get that thing in there. Yeah. Come on, Dan. Who's a man? <laughs> well, so that, then he had the Tiger Woods. Surgery. But then he That's kept right. duck hunting. Oh yeah, he duck hunted for a week with a broke back. Yeah, he wasn't gonna not go. He was he was puking from the pain. He, he just kept going. He just kept hunting because he didn't want to miss. <laughs> That's loving that. So. Who's a man? Let me just tell you right now, I love duck hunting. I ain't going with a broke back. <laughs> mm -mm. I ain't doing nothing with a broke back. Except laying there. Mm -hmm. Except whatever they tell me to do in rehab and therapy. That's the only thing I'm he, doing. He told me he said it's either. I can sit in this duck blind in pain, or I can sit at the house in pain and listen to an old woman on the phone. <laughs> there is another yeah. option. You could go get fixed. Like nah, uh, you, right. you, you, nah. you could go get repaired. Well, he and, finally, you know, we finally talked him into getting an MRI, and uh, hopefully this procedure. Uh, oh, I guarantee you, he feels better today than he did yesterday. He may be sores arising, but. I, I know some people that's had that essentially concrete putting you back. It works pretty quick. It'll huh. it'll heal some things. So at least he got old Burley. That Burley's oh here. yeah is Burley in town. And yeah. see, I wouldn't classify Burley. Burley's one of the higher class one Phil runs with. Burley's Burley a nurse yeah. too. Yeah, Burley's a nurse. Now he's not the nurse you want to see walk through your door and Ooh, say I'm about dude. to put this catheter in or something like that. You're gonna be like, okay, uh, uh, because Burley is a very apt nickname. Yeah, I mean, well, the boy's oh, yeah. bigger than we me. We got a picture of Burley. I got a picture of him. He's about six five. Yeah, got a beard bigger than any of us in this room. So imagine you're in a bad spot. You end up in the hospital. You're writhing in pain. You just need some relief. You're th relief. You're thinking like, I'm gonna get this tender, caring nurse. You know that just Not loves really. people to come in. And the door cracks open. It's probably squeaks a little because needs oil on the hinges. And there's a shadow as big as that table standing in there Burn. with scrubs on and gloves on. You're like, uh, uh. 
Nope. Uh-uh, this ain't this ain't it. <laughs> Here it is. This ain't it. I mean, Burley is a mountain of a man. He is a bull now. Yeah. He's, That's man. Burley right there, ladies and gentlemen, on the left. On yeah. the hard left. Yeah, the one that there you would classify is. as Burley. <laughs> that's him. That's a nurse. So you're feeling bad. <laughs> you 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 need some help, and that's what walks in. Yeah. And you're thinking Santa. <laughs> like, but like a rough Santa. Yeah. Like a mall Santa. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> like a Hey, you see who else was in there? Scroll to the right. Remember them, Martin? Oh uh old Lida. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh JR. He's retired Air Force. Who's that in the back? A washroom? Yeah, that's what Oh Lord boys. will run around with anybody now. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh perfect. I tell you, I'm trying to get some young blood in there. Yeah. Well them washrooms is they, they all right. Uh, they just they blow them loud duck calls. Oh well I I made him put that in his bag. <laughs> <laughs> we don't allow loud duck calling yeah. in the woods. There ain't no reason to call loud at nothing that ain't there. No. That's what I tell everybody. Right. They say I'm just trolling. I'm saying, Oh well good. That's good. But let's take our first break. Maybe Sal will show up. We'll be back right after this. Here's the problem. Somebody told me about a TV show to watch, and I was like, oh, I ain't got that one. And then I went. went, went, went. You went and logged in? Uh, and I've been paying for it. <laughs> hey, Did say use JDO and at gmail.com to log in? Take it easy. That's not man. your email. I know better than that. That used to be your Duck Commander email. That's right. But it don't exist anymore. But it is. I mean, you just <laughs> simply forget about stuff. That's why I love using Rocket Money, formerly known as Truebill. 80% of people, I'm one of those, have subscriptions that they forget about. I'm one. That's why you use Rocket Money, so that you're not just throwing five dollars, four ninety nine, six ninety nine, whatever those subscriptions are, down the drain. The app shows all your subscriptions in one place and cancels what you don't want for you. Rocket Money can even find subscriptions you didn't know you were paying for. Guilty. You may even find out you've been double charged for a subscription. To cancel a subscription, all you have to do is press cancel, and Rocket Money takes care of the rest. Look, it it's this day and age, it is. Uh, you have to save every dollar. There's so many streaming platforms, you can't even remember them all. So we've all been paying for stuff that we didn't know we were doing. You can cancel unnecessary subscriptions now with Rocket Money today. Go to rocketmoney.com slash duck. Seriously, it could save you hundreds per year. That's rocketmoney.com slash duck. I need to bring them snapping turtles up here. Do what? My man Sherman got me some snapping turtle shells. Oh, I thought you meant like live snapping turtle. No, no, no. Because that would have been way cooler. Uh, My friend is a, uh, he's a commercial cat fisherman, but he caught some turtles. Alligator or uh, common? Do you know? Oh, real big. Real big. Yes, alligator snapper's got the three three rows of spines down his back. He gave them to me, give them to my boys, but I don't think my wife's going to like them in the house, so I might put them in here. Did he lacquer them? Oh, yeah. Like make them shiny? Oh, this dude's legit. So he had turtle soup. Oh well, yeah. If he went through that trouble, yeah, he had turtle. He tells soup. me stories about cooking snake and stuff. Yeah, mm. we need to have him on. Who is he? Oh, Sherm Dog. Sherm Dog. Captain Milo and Sherman. Captain, you this? can look them up on YouTube. I'm they, about to say, is this a cat Disney, fisherman? Is this a Disney show? <laughs> like, that's what it's. That's what it feels like with Captain Milo and Sherman like, coming on right they after really, Bluey. They really know uh, like, Murray well. <laughs> <laughs> They've been around a minute. Now you got to be careful watching them Disney shows these days. Oh boy. That's why I watch Bluey. Bluey's solid. Bluey's solid. That yeah. Australian boy, sheep dog. Uh, the well, boys like it. Oh, I was about to say. Well, Bluey's a girl. Bluey. Oh, is she? I think. I found. I don't know. We were watching some show the other day on Netflix, and your boy got real mad real fast. But I don't know. That's not what this podcast is about. I don't know. I enjoy it. It seems to. Not Bluey. Oh. No, it's some other dumb show. Oh, it I got, got you. Excommunicated from the household. I said, nope. Ah, there you go. Good. Well, my, my eight year old's into the. Watching all the Royal Rumbles. <laughs> See, that's what we need more of at my house. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's what I watched when I was a kid, you know. Well, that's what we've been getting into. So, like, Waylon, they said the other day he got a little flat spot on the back of his head. Mm-hmm. So, they said he'd been laying on that side too much. So, like, just turn him a little bit and get everything lying back out. So, I hold him in the other arm. And it says it's hard to get him to focus on TV. I mean, he's eight weeks old. He can focus on your phone. So he just been sitting there watching duck hunting on my phone. Oh, I just pull up YouTube and get on the Duck Commander channel, and I just show him, like, we're going to do this one day. Yep. And he'll sit there, and he'll, he loves duck calls. Anytime <laughs> the call will blow, he'll snap that head over towards it. And I'm like, okay, we're, we're, I got me one here. I like this. this you, you're in. Like, let's, <laughs> let's go. We need to get you up about seven, eight years old where you're strong enough to tote some stuff. And then we, right. we got a new crew coming, Stone. 
<laughs> I mean, go. between them, Sage, I'm saying Sage because she probably going to be the duck hunter out of your crew. Mm. But she tough now. I don't know. It's, you know, uh, she, she's been angling to get in that deer stand. Sage? Mm-hmm. Uh-oh. Just another deer slayer. Just another. Nice. Well, you know, bullfrog, she's eat up with it. Yeah. But, uh, and Carly could care less. She could care less. Well, I think we uh, got that takes all kinds. That's right. Mm-hmm. Carter know. wants to be a politician, so uh, mm. who knows what's going to happen there. And uh, Ben's likes fishing, though. Um, I'm going to take this home with me today. That's good. You need to. I got some woody soaking in it right now. That's, that's, that's what's exactly on, what I was going to soak in. That, that's what's on the spit at the Martin house tonight. Wood some duck. Wood duck breast soaked in some W sauce, and we're going to slap them on that pit boss and that's what me and miss Brittany gonna eat for dinner and i got some preacher meat uh, off that buck uh cory shot mm, he'll work yeah no he's good he's real good i i guess i just that yeah i thought fun. i heard him but it didn't he ain't nah. coming oh ho, ho. <coughs> yeah, we can just start making random sizes <coughs> 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 the old Speaking man side, he killed a deer the other day did he Oh, yeah. yeah, it's the most pitiful looking coal buck you ever seen. Oh, he said it was a great looking one, but have one. Well, it, oh, on. he needed he needed to be cold, but uh, you know he killed that two hundred thirty inch buck down in South Texas, and he was shaking like a dog trying to pass the peat seed, and that's hard. I mean, yeah. By the way, so we we <laughs> this old coal buck comes out. I had I had a lot of boys in there with me, and uh. And I said, "Sir, si, there he is. That's, that's a coal. If you if you want to shoot him, so he he put the gun barrel out the window, and that gun barrel was just I'm talking about shaking, shaking, shaking. No lie, I said, "Sir, si, I bet you can mix a real good drink." <laughs> he said, "I'll oh, be quiet." Uh, and, and he was the thing that amazed me. He was just as nervous, or more nervous, shooting that coal buck than he was shooting that two hundred thirty inch. <laughs> Deer down in South Texas. Uh, <laughs> he just man. loves it. He does. He, he loves it. He's I wish more people. Would, I miss. I wish wish more people would have been there to see him stand up and shoot that decoy the other day. Oh that boy, was fantastic! They so shot a decoy. Mm-hmm. With the full intentions that it was a mallard hen <laughs> and blew its head. What kind of decoy? Was it? it was a green wing teal hen decoy. Oh, okay. Didn't look nothing like a mallard hen. <laughs> Not wrong size, wrong color, wrong everything. But boy, he stood up and whacked it. Yeah. Oh, to be man. fair though, he smoked it. He did right in the head. He did what he came to do. Right in the head, just, and then then the mallard just got up. Mah, 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 but did he mah. shoot at her when she flew off? No, he's laughing too hard. Oh. <laughs> he said, "Oh, good night, boys. That's the wrong thing." <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, we laughed. Uh, I was in the bottom of the blind. Oh, just, I couldn't breathe. Had tears going out my eyes. Well, that's that's what duck hunts supposed to be like. That's when it's fun. Yeah. That's yeah. Remember to laugh. Now I didn't know he was gonna, you know, shoot a seven dollar decoy, but whatever. Mm. It's fine. That was the best he, seven he dollars you ever spent. Yeah. Well, and it's above the water line, so it still float. That's <laughs> fine. As long as the water don't get up there, it'd be all right. But if the water gets to the decoy's head, we in trouble anyway. Like the rest of us is swimming everywhere we go too. So That's it was, funny. oh man, hmm. that man, he is still, he, he still enjoys hunting as much as anybody, which is what's really cool. I hope it's 74. I do too. Yeah. But, no kidding. You know, it is what it is. Let's take another break. We just going to keep on trucking. I, he may show up. Maybe he'll come in for the end. That'd be a good way to end this. Yeah, well, mm-hmm. Ask him what they did to him this morning. I don't even know. I, it's just a checkup is all he says. So I don't know what they're doing. So we'll be back. Is your hair like Cy a little late to the party? I said a little late to the party. <laughs> <laughs> and and receding back. It's like a tide. I will say. I it's think, receding all the time. What's that? You? My, yeah, my hair. Oh, your hair. I'm well, just Cy, glad look, you made it. <laughs> the cool thing about your hair, there's there's a way to slow it down. Oh, no, it ain't. And maybe even kickstart it back up. Mm. I don't hear it. Yeah, it is. <laughs> and I'm about to tell you about it. Our friends over well, at Nutrafol. Our friends over at Nutrafol have made it where you don't have to choose between whole body health and your hair growth. I mean, there is a holistic solution for men that promotes both healthier hair and whole body wellness. You can get ahead of your thinning hair with Nutrafol's whole body approach to hair growth. No drugs, no compromises. Uh-oh, That's a no cool thing. Drug. And Look, no compromise. Nutrafol is trusted and recommended by more than 3,000 top doctors and is physician formula using natural medical grade ingredients. Nutrafol's hair growth nutraceuticals go beyond genetics to multi target the root causes of thinning hair including stress, hormones, nutrition, metabolism, aging, and lifestyle through whole body health. Nutrafol's drug-free patented technology provides reliable results 
without compromising your sexual health. In a clinical study, men show progressive improvement in hair growth and thickness after three and six months. Nutrafol is the number one dermatologist recommended hair growth supplement, and it's clinically proven to improve hair growth, thickness, and visible scalp coverage. They even have a hair wellness quiz for personalized product recommendations that are unique to yours, hair's needs because everybody's different. Like mine be falling out from one reason, yours do, yeah. you know. Yep. It, it, they can help you customize it for you so that you can get your hair back growing again. You can grow thicker, healthier hair and support our show by going to Nutrafol.com slash men and entering the promo code DUCK to save $15 off your first month subscription. This is their best offer anywhere, and it's only available to U.S. customers for a limited time. Plus, you get free shipping on every order. Get $15 off at Nutrafol.com slash men, spelled N-U-T-R-A-F-O-L dot com slash men, promo code DUCK. We got a guest. Yeah. yeah, we're just pulling people from the office now. So yep. we figure since young Mac is like only here for two more days, th- this was his shot. So well, he um, was witness to an event that we're going to talk about. Well, he I hope so. He's a cameraman. He's witness to all of our events. So, yep. well, this uh, vi- event in particular. So Willie calls me up, say, "Hey, Corey wants to go go deer hunting. Put her on a buck." I'm like, no pressure. Okay. So I drop him off at the stand that morning. <clears throat> and this, this, I think Corey's killed one buck for in her life. Yeah, and I was, was there. Little basket rack six point. You know, it's good first buck. Yeah, you know, for a female. I mean, for I, mean, I don't want to be misogynistic here, but, <laughs> well, but she's kind of she, sounds like what you're being. But well, that's right. I'm trying to be uh, for somebody who doesn't hunt a lot. It was a great. That's first right year. for a person. There we go. That we can we can take a, like gender out of this. That's for right. Somebody doesn't hunt a lot. Great first. Year. Without that being said, my daughter. It has killed. She killed bigger things than big, I have. Bigger bucks she, she's than, out than, like, than it, me. Yeah, she's she's out. She is the exception. She's not the rule. So she maybe I, I, I used the wrong term there. Yeah. I say a uh, novice hunter. Yeah, the fact that Bailey didn't start with a button head just kind of hurts my feelings. No, she started with a thirteen point. That's what I'm talking about. And then continues to say <laughs> meat on the ground. Yeah, there you go. That's yeah, all that's her did. line. Where she, you know, she got that from Uncle Si. Uncle si. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, meat on anyway, the ground. Meat on the ground, boys. But anyway, but anyways, keep uh, rolling. Anyways, I drop them off the deer stand. I hear the shot. 320 yards. Of course, Willie has that souped up rifle that, you know, what do you, what do you call it? Alpha glass on mm-hmm. top of it. I mean, it's in a very nice rest in that blind. So very doable. Uh, I heard the bullet hit the, hit the deer. So we go look for blood. There's no blood. There's nothing. We go back, look at the footage. The footage says the shot is high. And there was right above the spine on the neck. It looked like that's where the bullet hit. It jumped. It jumped. So we were like, that that deer's fine. There's no blood. There were no vitals hit. The deer ran off, you know, but it kind of raised up. So we or call it off. I mean, yeah, we look for the deer for, for an hour, you yeah. know, looking around for blood really close. No blood. I was prepared to get on the phone and call the dog man. Yeah. But after looking at the footage, it, we footage don't lie, right? And In theory, yes. In theory. So we give up. You're like, that deer's still alive. So two hours later, I get a FaceTime on my phone from Jace. <laughs> and I'm like, first first thing was, why in the world is he FaceTiming me? I had to show him how to there it is. on oh, I was about to yeah. ask. That's, That's a weird, two grown men FaceTiming. Uh, yeah, I don't know. No. So, <laughs> I answered it. He, he said, hey, y'all left something in the ditch. I'm like, what are you talking about? And, and he showed that, that buck laying there. And he said, why y'all leaving big bucks in the ditch or something to that extent? And I'm like, are you kidding me? So, that deer upon further review, was not shot high. It was shot a little far back in the guts. Which happened. 300-something yards, understandable. Yep. Went, made a big loop. And look, the road goes going east to west, makes a little S curve. Mm-hmm. And then we're still heading west. Well, she shot the deer on that west road. He makes a big loop. Probably goes 500 yards. And comes back around and dies right before he gets back to the road in the ditch. And we, I guess, just drove right by it and never saw it. <laughs> Easily done. So 
They are camouflaged. Now, uh, of course, he could have still been making loot and we drove by. Now, there is that chance. Yeah. But he was belly, his belly was facing the road where it, there's a lot of white show, wasn't it, Mac? Oh, yeah. I mean, we were we were just getting done with a duck hunt, and, like, the road we took back was the road y'all shot that deer on. Yeah. And another wheeler in front of us had passed the deer as well. And So the Phil, wheeler in front of y'all didn't see it They either. didn't see it either. Phil okay. and Jace were driving. I was sitting in the back seat. Eagle eyes, and baby. Well, sometimes like, it pays to be five, six. See, yeah. he's he's at a different angle. At that low angle. Yeah. That he, low can see, vision angle. he can see up under some stuff. You know what I mean? Like uh, us big boys, we're looking down on things. Sometimes you, you just, you get blocked out. But Max looking mm-hmm. under the brush while he's riding. I said, hold on now. I mean, it was like right there glowing. Like I said, hold on, hold on. Y'all just passed a big buck laying in the ditch. I was like, y'all didn't see that thing? It was they glowing. Said, there was a deer back there. So they popped it in reverse, uh, drove back there, and Phil got on the ground and was like doing an interview with the deer, like he killed it too. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy, yeah, he was doing some acting. We uh, took this uh, one. Uh, yeah. Well, any chance he gets to to make fun of deer hunters, he's gonna take advantage of it. Yeah, any Jay- chance he gets to make fun of his daughter in laws, he's gonna take advantage oh, uh, of it too. So, well, that's you know, look, but yeah, look at him, nice, nice little buck, beautiful deer. Yeah, bigger than anything I've killed in Louisiana. Yeah, he's a good one. That's a good one. So, anyways, uh, she made that shot, and uh, I, I called Corey, and I said, they found your deer. Because she, she was a little bit distraught because she shot a deer, and we didn't recover it. You know, she felt bad about shooting the deer and not getting it, you know. I feel the, the same way when that, when crippled ducks get away, and I, I, that's not a that's no. not okay. Like, no, it's you, not. You don't, nobody, no hunter ever wants to not find Whatever it was that they shot, yeah. and, and it, it, but it does happen. I mean, it, oh, it happens. Uh, I don't care who you are. If you hunt it long enough, it's going to happen. It's an inevitable truth right. to hunting. And but anyways, she was ecstatic. I'm talking about on. She was as fired up as I've ever seen her, and Willie was fired up too. Oh, so yeah. was Jordan. Jordan got the phone call up here because Jordan had filmed the hunt, and he was mm-hmm. jumping up and down. Yeah, he said, "I got to go." I said, "Hey, Jordan." Max there, he can film the recovery. Yeah, I got the recovery. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we, we got, got another a, guy. <laughs> and, then we, and then we got all the trash talking with Jace's phone. You know, I don't know what I was saying, but I'm sure it was not nice. <laughs> but anyways, we get back with the deer, and instead of, you know, Phil and Jason and them congratulating Corey on the buck, they going to rag her about gut shooting it. <laughs> <laughs> they do have a very fostering spirit, don't they? <laughs> if it, I, Phil did not crack a spot, he said, hey, you shot that deer way too far back. No, I don't think I heard a congratulations from Phil on that deer at all. <laughs> no, right. you're not going to get one. Well, Phil ain't one to give you an attaboy. The closest <laughs> thing I got is when I called and told him we was having twins, and his line was, hey, two in one shot. Hey. I've seen you do it. <laughs> I mean, that's the closest <laughs> thing to an attaboy as I've ever gotten from Phil Robertson. There, There is uh, no... He is, he's like old school football coach mentality. Oh, like yeah. That, well, is, he, that he, is, I don't care if you did a hundred things right. The only thing he's going to talk is about the one you did wrong. Well, like, that's just <laughs> the way they are. You know, my wife's the same way. <laughs> yeah. So. <laughs> my wife's the same way, too. <laughs> <Huh>. <laughs> Bizarre. You know how many times I've heard my wife say I was wrong? You, no, she's, she's a Robertson. Never. Zero. Yeah. Ever. No. Never. Yeah, no. no. Well, admitting fault is a skill now. Yeah, it's hard to do. And especially if you never are. <laughs> then you, just, you don't know how to say it. You never got any practice. Yeah, I mean, if you don't You've know how to say it. Your whole it life. Yeah, if you don't know how to say it, you don't know how to say oh. it. Like, But anyway, we got him aging right now. I'm going to age him about 24 days and peel the hide off of him. Well, it's a good thing Mac was there. Oh, I Otherwise, that deer, oh, the buzzards would have had to eat oh, the I same as a worm. Done driven, done got driven by three times. But you know, you know what Willie said. He said, "I learned something today, Stone." I said, "What's that?" He said, "Never trust the footage." <laughs> <laughs> he ought to know that because I I hunted with him one time on I was filming him and he shot a deer and I was it was with a crossbow. Which, in fairness, before they made lighted knocks for crossbows. You could not see that. Look who it is. Ladies oh. and gentlemen. Look who it is. Si Robertson in the house. Si, we got to fill in for you. Who's that? Uh, no, I'm kidding. He's back, baby. He's gone. And he's back for more. But, no. And he's got a smile on his face. 
but well, he shot a deer with a crossbow, and I was like, I looked at the I looked at the footage, I said, Nah, man, you missed that thing. And so we just sat there till dark, went and got his air. Well, his air had blood on it. Yeah, I was like, well, I guess you didn't miss it. <laughs> and so, but it was so dark, and we didn't really know where it went. So we just like, well, we'll come back in the morning. We'll come back in the morning, seventy yards over there, deer's laying dead. I mean, he just run through a thicket, and you couldn't see him. But I mean, if you looked at the footage, you never thought the deer got hit. Like, huh. cause he didn't even run off weird. Like he didn't even run like a deer that had been. Yeah, hit. Well, so, I, we, we, all three of us sat there and looked at it and we yeah. saw something jump Yeah, right above that spine. But I guess that was a nerve or something. Yeah. Who knows? I mean, it was crazy. Yeah. When you get shot. Your body does all sorts of things. Does it? I ain't never been shot. <laughs> Me I neither. hope I don't ever find out. I'm but, trying to live a life where that don't happen. Yeah. Oh, well. Ain't that the truth. Well, let's take another break. We'll get the OG back in. Mac, thanks for jumping in, telling your yeah. side of the of yeah. the deer finding story. And uh, yeah. yeah, get back to work. You're only here for a couple more days. Go finish that video. Go finish that <laughs> video, Mac. <laughs> finish it up. Make sure it's good. Look, you've heard us talk about how much we all love the My Pillow products from Mike Lindell, the My Pillow guy. He's the My Pillow guy. He is the My Pillow guy. And, and you know how you know he's a My Pillow guy because his face is on one of them. Thank you. And that's fantastic. Sai, you still using them towels? Oh yeah, My Pillow uh, and my towels <laughs> and my sheets. And Brittany reminds me every and day that slippers. they're her slippers. That's my my slippers. Yeah, don't call them my slippers because uh, they her slippers. I wear them slippers every morning. Take them kids to school. Ain't hey. that the truth? Look, it don't matter what they make. If they make it, you can trust that it is good. We've got it all. It's fantastic. Whether it's the pillows, towels, slippers, it doesn't matter. It's all fantastic. They feel great. They look great. Look, and even the sheets, we're sleeping on them every night. And right now, you don't want to miss my pillow's best sheet prices ever. All Giza Dream Sheets are on sale for as low as $29.99 with promo code DUCK at MyPillow.com slash DUCK. That's 50% off. The MyPillow Giza Dream Sheets are made with the best cotton in the world. They're ultra soft, breathable. And come in a ton of color, styles, and sizes. They're also durable and stand up to frequent washing. No matter what your kids or pets throw at them, it doesn't matter. And they have deep pockets, so they're easy to change. You don't have to fight your sheets anymore. They just go right on the bed. Order now because they have a very limited supply. There's a 10-year warranty and a 60-day money-back guarantee. But you're not going to need it, but it is there just in case you do. You've got to check out all the great specials from MyPillow. Go to MyPillow.com slash duck and use promo code duck to get up to 66% off and get the MyPillow Giza sheets for as low as $29.99. Again, just go to MyPillow.com slash duck and use promo code duck or call 800-969-3137 and use promo code duck. Order now because when they're gone. Hey, they're gone. Hey, gone. When you're going blind, you got to take care of some business. <laughs> <laughs> Were you well, at Gumble? Huh? Yeah. I was there the other day. Yeah. You don't need to talk. You don't need to be able to see to talk. Huh? Where you been? Huh? We've missed you this morning. Look, I've been at the doctor's office. What you been getting checked on? Uh, I've got cataracts, and I'm fixing to get them removed. Really? Yeah. First one's Monday. Mm. Okay, so we're not recording Monday. Yep. Scheduler. Uh, <laughs> yeah, re Scheduler. Reschedule <laughs> everything. Yeah, note to self, we're not recording yeah. Monday. That's When's right. the second one? Uh, When's the, the second? The 9th of January. Okay. How long does it take to recover? Well, two weeks, they said. Whoa. For each eye? Yeah. So they give you, they do one, give you two yeah. weeks to recover from weeks. that one, yep. then, then do your other one. Do you get a and patch? Do so huh? you look like a pirate? Well... Yeah, uh, they gave me a big pair of dark sunglasses to wear. That was the thing that my wife told me. She said, hey, you need to get you a real good pair of sunglasses. Oh, praise said, Because me. you're fixing to find out the sun is really bright. And I said, darling, I know that right now. So I, when, <laughs> when you have that and you have those dark sunglasses, can we please record with you wearing blue jean shorts, yeah. white tennis shoes, <laughs> and those dark glasses? Thank you. I just want I want that visual of Cy is the ultimate. They show off these bird legs. No, nah, just that. Uh, when I think of those dark glasses, that's what I think. But we need to get you like a Lincoln Continental. Yeah. Like you need to be driving like a twenty-seven foot car. And one in big yeah. forty-foot limo. Yeah, or an Oldsmobile eighty-eight uh, or something. Get you come rolling up in here. Like uh, there you go. Right, you talking about that? He's going to buy him a Mercury. Remind me of the story. I'm going to work in my dad's car, a Plymouth. You know. And and a guy in a GTO, pukey green color, okay, nineteen like nineteen sixty nine, okay, and an old mobile pull up with each other and they're racing, okay. So I get in behind them because I know both of them. I work with them, 
Okay, so they're heading down the highway and they're running a hundred miles an hour side by side. Gas was cheap back then. No, no, look. So I'm behind them at 90, <laughs> okay, and the guy in the, the pukey green Dodge Charger goes, waves goodbye, and stomps it, and look, I've got my wonder down, and I hear, Err! they're <laughs> he, going 100 miles an hour. And he barked the tires? And he burnt the tires. <laughs> That's Y'all big time. Me. No, no, because so, hey, I'll put him behind them when we get to work. <laughs> And I said, hey, am I losing my mind, or did I actually, when you waved at so-and-so in the Oldsmobile 88, did I hear, Err! and he said, no, you heard, Err! and I said, wait a minute, you can't burn rubber for running 100 miles an hour. He said, well, hey, you know where it was at, so hey, that ain't when I got off work. <laughs> I had to stop four or five times before I could find it. In the middle of the, his lane, it was, hey, two stretches, about 18 inches long, of just taut, burnt tire. <laughs> and I said, hey, what have you got under the hood on that stupid thing? And he said, hey, whatever can be done to a car has been done to that one. Because, yeah. look, he had stainless steel poles about two inches in diameter coming out to his hood. And then he had stainless steel locks, two of them, you know. And he'd race anybody. He he was coming. He'd come to work in some new car and say, "Hey, anybody want to buy a new car? I'll yeah. knock I'll knock ten thousand dollars off of that car I got out there. Brand spanking new. I just want it." Look at there. Before pink Vin slip, Diesel was I, even a thing. No, no, yeah. Pink <laughs> slip. Pink slip. Uh, pink slip for pink slip. Bro. Yeah. Hi. Hey, and he'd 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 win. And sell it. Could he drift? Oh, hey. <laughs> but you talking about run? I love the fact that we started on cataracts and got to a story about well, a '69 hey, look, Plymouth hey, bark, well, you barking know, rubber going a well, hundred. Hey, I love hey, this look, podcast. Well, hey, look, you just said something. Uh, and kick. I know. I love it. Uh, He's back. Here I we love go, it. boys. Look, he was a, a little rabbit, tired the other a day. Rabbit running in front of me, and here I'm after him. Look, if you uh, stuck with us that day, he was a little tired. Uh, he, the man, been working. They, they, mm. they filming that treasure show hard. He been, he been working. He's a little tired, but today, look at it. He rejuvenated. Well, no, no. Here's the thing. Well, the reason I'm rejuvenated, I'm about half scared. Of what? Oh, these cataracts <laughs> getting it done. Are you? Yeah. I've never known you to hey. say you scared. Well, so. the guy just told me, he said, here's what we're going to do. And yeah. I said, yo, I'm listening. He said, your eyes, your your lenses on your eyes are hardening. Hmm. Okay. He said, that's why you're having difficulty seeing. He said, so what we're going to do is we're going to bust, bust. We're going to break ice. Yeah. You, we're going to break your lenses. You know, and I'm going, Hold Whoa. on, Hold on now. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, said, Whoa. You know, so now, you know, hold on I, now. I, I, you know, I was thinking to myself, wait a minute. What I've heard of it so far was, hey, that they use laser. Because I told them, I said, hey, I'm about half scared to do this because my tolerance for pain is zero. <laughs> you know, I said, so what's the deal? And he said, oh, the least, that's the least of your worries, Mr. Robertson, is there's no pain involved. Well, then what's the most? <laughs> no, no, yeah, well, then he starts telling me what he's going to do. You know, we're going to bust, bust these, these lens that are hardening inside your eyeballs. <clears throat> and he said, well, we got to be careful because we don't want to bust the outer layer. You know, it's kind of like, kind of like cracking an egg. So you got to sit still. Well, no, no, because they, hey, they got to rope my head down where I can't move. Because I've, you know, no. I was about to say they giving you like some Valium or something too. Oh, where no, you no, kinda... and look, all of it, no, all they're going to do is put eye drops that deaden it. Okay, then they're going to go for the the white. So you get to watch this happen. Oh no, yeah, that's, that's a good I... thing you can't see. Well, no, no, that's. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Yeah, that's huh? why I'm about half afraid of this thing. Yeah. But hey, when you get more, you can't see nothing because when they ask you, tell me, you show you a chart and tell me, uh, uh, how, what's the lowest line you read? E. I said, hey, I can't even read the top line, yeah. dummy. E. You call them a dummy? <laughs> don't they all start with E? <laughs> uh, I don't know, but Most hey, I said, do. hey, look, I can't read the top line. Clearly, it's blurred. Is you know, it? So, but this. is it one eye or both eyes? Uh, both eyes. Both of them. Oh, yeah. When that's you, amazing. I, hey. 
That's how. That's why you shot that decoy the other day. Well, no, no, you can't no, see. Look, well, all I saw was brown. And I said, "The hen's brown." That's her. Yeah. He gone. <laughs> Boy, that made me well, feel safe sitting beside you. Well, no, no, because that's like, <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that was like Stone said. You didn't see the antlers. I said, "No, I ain't seen the antlers." He the only man I know blind <laughs> killed a two hundred thirty inch deer. I know. Golly, he had no idea what he was shooting. At. That's oh. why he wasn't worried. He wasn't <laughs> nervous. Yeah, he thought yeah, it was right. a dove. Oh, he. Was nervous, all right. No, I identified it what I was to shoot. I yeah. said, Hey, Justin, the deer I'm supposed to shoot is broadside to me right now, right? He said, Yes, it is. And it was just this quick. I'm gonna shoot it. Bam. There you go. You know, uh, then I walked up and said, Stone, wait a minute. I was 50 yards away and I said, Stone, wait a minute. Is that antlers I see sticking four foot up in the air? <laughs> and he said, You just noticed that right now? And I said, Yeah. Oh, I love it. Oh, it's hilarious. That's good. So but they, that's why that's where I've been. So Monday, Monday the left eye gets taken care of, and then a month goes by, or a little less than a month. Yeah. Then the right eye, because he was a busy man. So you're out on hunting. <clears throat> your hunting season, oh, yeah. your yeah. hunting season, yeah, gonna I end about I'm, Monday. Well, I'm about out on everything. Well, so uh, which eye, which eye yeah. is going first? The eye, the left, left eye. The okay, non, so you non, can still shoot a deer. Yeah, the non-dominant eye. Oh yeah, I still shoot right hand. There you go. Oh, we're good to go. Yeah, that's why he said, "All right, which eye you use to hunt with?" I said, "The right." He said, "We'll do the left." I there said, you go. Good deal. Hey, good call. There you go. Good call. And then we'll learn how to shoot left at it when it get does other. <laughs> you, well, hey, you think they'd hey, mind if we did the podcast from their little surgery room? That would be oh. awesome. Although I would throw up. Uh, yeah. You uh, need me to come hold your hand since you're going to be scared? I'll come, uh, I come oh, sit with hey, you. Hey, it would help. i come sit with you. Hey. I'll make you laugh. Well, when he said, hey, you know, like he said, what are we doing here? We're busting ice? Yeah. Inside your eye? <laughs> Look, Johnny D, he, he out on that really? anyway. Uh, yeah. I will go to the eye doctor, though, mm-hmm. because I don't trust anybody else with my eyeballs. I had to go the other day. I said, I'm going to the eye doctor. Well, no, the only reason I went is I'm going blind. <laughs> okay, I've got to do something. I, my sister did some uh, laser thing uh, on her eyes, and she walked out. And she Like that day, she was like, I didn't know trees you could see the leaves on it, like individually. <laughs> That's what's crazy. It like. just was like a big, bu- like a kid drew it to her, oh, apparently. Oh, no, no, no. So yeah. you're going to enjoy it. Once well, no, over. no, that was one okay. I've always had a hearing loss. Too many guns. What? You know, I've always had a hearing loss. Okay. Okay. So, you know, high frequency especially. Okay. Too many, too many bangs, too many booms. Too much time in a deuce and a half. Oh, yeah. You yeah. Know. Too many so, and, Well, inside a tank. Yeah, you know, that too. You're inside a tank. Well, you're inside a on tank? solid metal, and somebody takes a 10-pound ball peen hammer oh. and that's way worse than that gong you got in yeah, front of you. Know, you know, so, so, yeah. You know, but I done forgot what I was going to say now. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you had eyes. It had, you oh, had good. It's time for a break. Yeah, and it had to do with hearing. Go. Uh, so the Army says, okay, look, here's, here's you some hearing aids. So I put them in, and they said, you know, <clears throat> they're not really hearing aids. What are they? All they do is they stick an amplifier in your ear. Mm. So everything gets louder. So, hey, I went in and was going to brush my teeth and turn the water on. We got about, what, 30 pounds of pressure on the water in the bathroom. It's just, wow. <laughs> I'm talking. My man yeah. feeling good. So. <laughs> yep. I said, "Good grief!" Told y'all we should have waited on. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. So, hey, I'm gonna what? tell you right now. Scared side may be my favorite side. Uh. No, no. Look, hey, here's the thing. That's Who's why, the man? That's why I never wore my hearing aid. You know, somebody would say something. He said, and I say, "What?" And he said, "Why don't you wear your hearing aid?" I said, "Because it blows my what little bit of hearing I got left out." I tell you what, though. You know what I'm hearing, Stone, our duck hunting crew. We dwindle them. We got one oh. with a broke back and one that can't see. <laughs> oh, I know. It. <laughs> Neither like, of them can hear. Hey, mm. And here's the good part. I still whack and stack them. He did. I watched him the other day. <laughs> well, let's take another break. Take our last break. We'll be back right after this. Y'all got to start emailing in stuff, people. Hold on. Tell them now. Hey, yeah, hey, I ain't going to put up with that. <laughs> Well, gotta, doing I, this, I, what are we doing this for if you're not going to communicate? We didn't get anywhere to communicate with us. Hey, what are we doing this for? I had one. We want y'all involved. Somebody sent me. I sent an email to Duck Call Room. Oh, Been speaking of deer, I do have one lately. good email. I have one really good email. You got one from Mickey Underscore. That's for lying to me. Uh-oh. <laughs> 
About what? I just, you didn't have none. Oh. I, w- I woke <laughs> That hurts. I, I got a pretty good punch for an old man, didn't I? Oh, he, he was trained <laughs> on how to throw hands now. <laughs> oh, I got my energy uh, back now, buddy. He's back, baby. Uh, I didn't mean uh, I didn't uh, have any. I meant uh, I haven't read through enough because we've well, done it. Well, son, been... you wouldn't want me to hit you if I was mad. That was a love tap. No, sir, I do not want you to Okay. Hit you. Hey. Anyway, you don't bother you. Hey, Sign si hey. knows how to snap them punches now. Uh, hey. And I wasn't even behind that one. <laughs> <laughs> what would you have done if I threw all my weight behind it? I'd have just went down. Uh, that's right. And out. I, I indeed don't worry. All of his weight <laughs> wasn't much more than what he did there. So uh, there ain't a whole lot of him left. He's on fire. Uh, uh, that's why I just did I, with you uh, in this mode. I don't know that they want to hear from themselves. Mm, hey, hey, you don't miss stuff until you don't have it. What did you miss that you didn't I, have? Well, no, no, because I was in the doctor's office talking about, well, y'all hurry up. You need to come really? talk to us, I didn't said, you? Hey, I got things I got to do. Yeah, you needed to come vent you know, to us. Well, I appreciate it. There's places and things I've got to be involved in. If you want to know really why Cy is so fired up, <laughs> turn around and look at it. behind you, Johnny D. You see that T? That's his gas gauge. Right now, he's full. <laughs> the other day <laughs> when we got in here, he had poured the last bit That's into it. that cup. It was low. He's empty. It was low. Look, yeah. and I see he knows that he got a full day ahead of him, so that's why he's so fired up. That's it. That, and look, when we used to work down at Phil and K's, that right there was how long Cy was going to be at work. 120 yeah, when just, that got you low. Just, you could just watch yeah, it. When that got low, and the, really in the Army. The last cup was poured as he was pulling out the driveway because yeah. he knew he could make it home while drinking that last cup of tea. <laughs> I wish I had my Tupperware cup because all I ever heard was, Sergeant Robson, get rid of that stupid Tupperware cup. There's about eight of them over there that no, used to yeah, sell. yeah. And I'd I'd, tell, I'd go, first sergeant, it ain't going to be in sight when, when you get ready to call up the company to attention. Yeah, I'll have it tucked in my britches. That's Don't right. I'll it. put it in my britches. <laughs> <laughs> this man exactly right. had a cup on him for the last 50 years. I bet that fit just right in that BDU pocket. Oh, it did. But I had to watch it. I, I, I forgot it and started marching. Did you have to unbutton a button? Or did, yeah. Or did it yeah. fit in oh, between no. the two buttons? No, no. I'd have to unbutton one button. Okay. That way it'd keep it in, in, in one place on the on the corner. But then if I started marching, I, if I had, especially if I had it full, I'd golly, I'd go cold, cold on the leg. <laughs> you put full, <laughs> you put a full glass of iced tea yeah. in your pants hey, without I'm, a top on it? Hey, uh, I even took it. The, what they didn't know, I even done it when I had dress greens on. How'd you do and that? we was in a parade. I'd stick it in my pocket. <laughs> and, and, and hey, we, I couldn't be on the front line. No, that's why all them ladies come looking no, no, for No, hey, yeah. I couldn't be on the front line because I couldn't ever get a swiggy. But if I was in the second row, I could sneak a, 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 a drink of tea. Put it back in. Yeah. You know, a thousand people watching. Is that a tea glass in your pocket? Give a thousand me people. Good job, boys. <laughs> Look at him. Uh, uh, right, boy, let me get this out of the way. Yeah, I got oh, it. Oh, man. That is oh, great. Right. Fantastic. Well, we need to do one email or question. We still got some questions from the other day. What you got? Well, I do have one email from, you know how Goblin's got all of his oh. jokes? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Johnny G. Well, a man named John emailed in. He's getting them from other people. Who, John? Look, look, we got got actual proof. The Hawaii joke wasn't Goblin's. It was this John's. (laughs) And Goblin said, yeah, that's a good one. (laughs) The the fans are... are... uh, So people are going on Instagram. So Cy's telling Jerry Clower story. (laughs) And Goblin's getting his material from our fans. Yep. Are there any originals left anymore? There, no. Hey, wait a minute. Hold it now. What? Some of my stories come from Jerry Clyde, but not all of them. <laughs> Look, we finally got an admission. <laughs> Look. Hey, my favorite one is the the, the, the squirrel. Yeah, the yeah. squirrel that, dog. That, hey, that straightened out a whole congregation of, of, of so-called religious people. <laughs> now, that's Ray Stevens. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Hey, well, look. I, <laughs> Hey, that's right. Hey, you were Ray always Steven. meant to be in Branson, hey, weren't hey, you? Hey, Ray uh, Stevens, <laughs> uh, Jerry Clyde, and You'd then be Justin, real rich Justin if you were in Branson. Oh, the Cajun. If we moved this podcast set to Branson and just went and recorded every day, I'd sell oh. that place out in hey. a heartbeat. Oh yeah, 
I will sit beside you any day in Branson. No, no, I got, I got a buddy. I got a buddy. And we'd go like to a hunting lodge and spend a weekend. And from the time we got there to the time we left, he'd tell stories and never repeat not a one. It'd always be fresh ones. And you could do it for a whole year. That's talent. That boy that boy never run out of stories. That's wild. Okay. And he I got always, about three. Oh yeah. No. <laughs> hey. Then I'm out. I'm out of material. Then I just gotta react to whatever you say. Uh, well, let's see if that's why, hey, I'm called the improv king. <laughs> That's right. Because, hey, anything si, that happens, I can turn it into a story. Si, si ain't never heard a story. He won't that's copy. Right. Hey, that's right. <laughs> and make it his own. I thought that was Bigfoot there for a minute. <laughs> I got it. Well. There you go. I Talk about a man twice. looking like Bigfoot. Yeah, I had to look twice. Burley? No, oh. this guy. No. We'll end it with this. Uh-oh. Zooming out. That guy right there. Look at that deer. Wait, time out. You don't know him. I'm not worried about that. Zoom in on his face. Is that a real beard? No, no, that what, is a real beard. He said I, it is. Boy, it goes up high. Yeah, it does. Yeah. So listen, but you want to know the reason he emailed in? Really cool story. Remember our man Sam with the yeah, yeah. sun thing? So he's got something that actually makes it where he can't grow hair and other stuff like that, and it's kind of similar. So he emailed in to say, hey, th- send this to that guy. I can encourage him. And that's what he – he's 34 now, I think is what he said. Uh, oh, by the way, his name is Hunter, Hunter. From, from Kings Tree, South Carolina. But Kings he just Tree. he managed a 1,500-acre hunting population. He had something that he thought he'd never be able to go outside, kind of like that kid. And now he's doing this. So he said, hey, man, I just wanted to send this in and encourage Sam. I see. That's what I love about and our forward. Hey. He, asked, he asked me to just forward hey, it to him. That's it cool as crap. Pass it on. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's awesome. Hey. Like people encouraging other people. And they want to say on. America's trash. Look, as long as people keep doing that, that's right. we're going to be all right. It's still got hope. Boy. But that's he right. did say, <clears throat> um, hold on, something about that beard. It is very high. I've been told I have a pretty killer beard. Yes, it's real. No, I don't straighten it. <laughs> no. That, <laughs> like His is the exact opposite of mine. Mine low. Mine down here around the chin line, and that's it. His is like up here. He yeah, like Wolverine looking. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's cool. Yeah. I can appreciate that. Yeah, he has this. He, his is, I can't pronounce but it. But it was thing. so perfect. It looked like one of them apps where you just put a beard well, on Well, that's why when I look at some women, is that yeah, Bigfoot? He's, yeah. So I mean, like, thanks for that. emailing in. Sorry we called you Bigfoot. <laughs> look at them straight lines. I mean, it looks it too not. perfect. Aye. It looks like something you just put <laughs> on like this. Yeah. I mean, it. I, that's wild. But I did want to end it with that because he, like, that's just cool that we have one fan. It's not the same thing, but it's very close. But they're similar, and they're both life-changing yeah. events that they had to figure out how to deal with. So Ooh. I can appreciate Hunter reaching out to Sam. Move it on, boy. Because of us. Yep. That that just makes you realize, like, when we sit here and opine and, like, what are we doing in here, That that's why. Because now we're going to connect two people that can help each other out and lift each other up. That That's that's what life is about. Mm-hmm. Not killing ducks, not telling stories, not that that kind of encouragement, sharing, and and just lifting each other up. That is that that's a cool thing. It's not about so. the journey; it's about the person you're with on the journey. There you go. Mm-hmm. I can appreciate that. Who's the person? Huh? Whoever's with you. There you go. There you go. That's right. exactly right. You're not alone. Ever. You're not. Never, alone. Ever, ever, ever. JD. What Big Dave send you this morning? No, you I, get I got inspired. I got inspired. <laughs> what? By si. Just coming Big in here. Big Dave didn't send you a verse today. Oh, I'm, I haven't I'm checked. Sure he did. Hey, for Sai, are you gonna talk? You gonna Ryan. read the one about scales over the eyes? For Sai, <laughs> that was genius. Hey, Pop, the Apostle Paul knew about him. All right, fine. Big Dave, <laughs> I, I got Teddy. Hey, it's Psalms too. <laughs> Psalms two, boys. Whatever. That well, it's is. in. I was gonna at five forty-seven a.m. Exalt the Lord our God and worship at His footstool. He is holy. Psalm ninety-nine five. But the one I was gonna do was Psalm thirty-two eleven. Just because you came in here with a vigor about you, and it made me happy. Well, hey, look, I'm fired up, boys. See, I love it. And it's because of Psalms thirty-two eleven. It's how you live your life. Rejoice in the Lord and be glad, you righteous. Sing all you who are upright in heart. That's it. Just rejoice in the Lord. That's it. Well, we'll do it again. What but you trust say? in him, you never go wrong. Is the next one number 200? Uh, no, that's, we're taking that next week. Next week. Next okay, week. so this is like 198 or something? 199. Welcome to episode 198. Nah, I was just curious. I was just, I didn't know that. the song, 99 uh, Bottles of Beer uh, on the Wall. 197. 
197. 197. All right. Three well, more. look, that's 197 and three more. We're going to be at 200. 200? That's hard. To, that's hey, hard to figure. But, that's, a, um, that's two buy ins on a poker game. <laughs> <laughs> or in size case, 10 minutes. All right. But we'll, hey, 10 minutes. we'll see y'all next time right here. We're five out. Five minutes apiece, boys.